right, girls, today is unit one, day six. And I believe your moms or dads have to download the picture that goes with this or the paper and you can work on that, okay? I apologize that I didn't have those materials um, sent with you. I didn't anticipate going ahead in math, but we were doing really well. So anyways, um, remember at the beginning of math, we practiced something called subitizing. And so just call out how many, All right? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? All right, that was easy, right? So then just call out the, the digit that you see. Uh, very good. All right, and then with this one, show me and then tell me how many. All right. All right, and then we have um, paper clips, okay? And so, ooh, you know what? It's hard to see those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put these paper clips down so that you can see. All right, and so here we have some paper clips. And we, in calendar today, we talked about something called one-to-one -one correspondence. And so when we count, we put our finger on the item that we're counting while we say that number. So that way we keep track really well, okay? So when we count, you touch and say that number, and then you keep on moving. We don't glide our finger over we don't kind of hover our finger around either what even when it's on a piece of paper we still want to take our finger and touch that item okay and so just to show you what what i'm talking about let me model it okay so i have one two three four okay so let me show you some ways not to do it one, two, three, four. Or some people go one, two, three, four. Did you see how I did that? Or um, one, two, three, four. You see how not to do that? You have to touch it and say it at the same time. One, two, three, Four. Okay, so that's how we do it. And then we talked again about matching amounts. Okay, and so that's really important to be able to do. So let's count these. We'll count and slide. One, two, three, four. So four regular paper clips. And then one, two, three, four. That's the same amount. So if these were in boxes or drawn, I would draw a line and say, I have the same. I have the same number of paper clips over here as I do over here. Okay, and so then that leads us to our worksheet and where we are going to practice actually writing the number four. All right, and so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now, sometimes people make fours differently, and that's okay, but in kindergarten, I want you to make your fours this way. Okay, and so when you see other grown-ups and stuff like that, writing numbers, um, you should know what they mean, but you are still going to write your four the way I ask. So it's um, down, slide right, and cut it in half. Okay, did you hear that? Down, slide right, and cut it in half. Down, slide right, and cut it in half. Down, slide, right, and cut it in half. That's how we write number four. Okay, and so we don't write four like this. Okay, you might read it like that. You might see somebody or like the computer might type it like that. And you need to know that. But in our class, this is how we write four. You might see people write the four like this. Or you might even see somebody write it like that. Okay, 
So we don't write those that way. You just have to know that that's what they look like sometimes. And we'll practice those too, but while we're learning how to write it and read it in math class, right now that's the number how it's written, okay? So with that being said, here is your worksheet that you are going to be working on. You're gonna practice tracing the four, and see even here, the worksheet doesn't take it all the way, so you need to make sure that you take it all the way. All right, so down, slide, right, and cut it in half. Down, slide, right, and cut it in half. So keep on going. And you can kind of see, oh, it does. I can see the dotted line. It's really hard to read, but there you go, okay? So you're gonna practice that. And then you are going to practice um, counting the crayons and finding its match. And then you, I also want you to match the colors. So when you're counting these, and then you count those and you match it, then you need to make sure that the colors match. So if you're gonna color these blue, color those blue. And then same thing here, You can't, whatever color you color this, make sure that the other side matches. And then down below, from here down, you are going to count these crayons and write the amount of crayons that are right here in this cloud, okay? I wanna see pretty coloring, nice and slow, holding your pencil correctly when you're writing the numbers, and you should be good.